Hello YouTube world and welcome back to my channel that serves literally no purpose besides bringing you guys mediocre entertainment and me joy. So as you guys can see today I'm going to be showing you my favorite fall outfits, some fall inspiration for you guys to make your outfits, I don't know. Just some fall outfits that I am absolutely loving right now. Um, I actually haven't worn any of these outfits, but now I feel like I just need to go all over the places so that I can wear these outfits. <laughs> but anyway, let me shut up and just get into the video. So for this outfit, I have a unitard and it's a full body one. It goes all the way down to my ankles. This really pretty beige color. Um, would say it's a tiny, tiny bit see-through, so uh, definitely you want to pair something, well, what wear nude undergarments, first of all. And I love pairing it with like an oversized blazer, because blazers just make you look so prepared and well-dressed, when in reality it's like the easiest thing to throw over anything. And I love this color, and I love pairing neutrals together. They look so clean to me. Anyway, and then I just threw a cowgirl boot on um, in black, again another neutral, because it's going to flow the best. And two, I just thought these shoes would look the best. You could also do like a Doc Martin, um, maybe in a heel if you want to dress this up. But yeah, that's it for this one. Okay guys, so for this second outfit, um, one of my faves. I have just gotten these leather pants and it really has just made me question why I never bought leather pants before. They literally are the comfiest thing. They keep you pretty warm and they look so stylish. Like they instantly just level up your outfit. Um, also these boots that are like viral right now, um, they're technically the Versace boots, but God knows <laughs> no one can afford those boots. Well, very few people can afford those boots. So these are the Steve Madden ones, which I love. Literally my current obsession. Also, um, another oversized blazer. Again, it just makes you look so put together, so clean, so cut. And then pop of a brightness with the vest. Um, I just personally did this because I live in California, so likelihood of it being toasty is very high so I also want something to still keep me looking put together but also functional if that makes sense because it's not going to get freezing until much later which we really only have like two months left in the year but whatever so this is another super easy outfit that you could put together so fast it's literally a men's oversized button-up this was actually my dad's um i just stole it from him and then this was also his leather jacket so i'd say oversized men's button down oversized leather jacket or they have a lot of those uh leather blazers are in which are really cute too but i just thought this would look a little edgier and a little cuter and then the same um platform seat button boots but if you just don't want to do that, you can also do a cowboy boot, you could also do a dog barn, you could also do a heel, you could also do a kitten heel I think would still look cute. So all those options. And I decided to add a belt because I feel like when you have like a very oversized shirt, at least this one's really oversized on me, um, you lose the shape or it loses the shape of your body too much. So that's why I belted it. But yeah. If I could, I would have gone with a gold buckle belt, but I don't have one. So, you know, just to keep all the jewelry cohesive because I feel like that also makes you look very clean and put together. Um, yeah, so cute though. This is probably one of my favorite looks because it's so simple, yet so comfortable, and you look so put together. <laughs> so we have some like comfy ribbed flared pants with their really thin material, so so comfortable. And then literally just a rib tank top, like a full tank top, but I just tucked it in because I didn't feel like tying or anything. I feel like it just would be too much. And then a white cardigan, eh, white creamy color cardigan, cardigan, why did I say like that? <laughs> I don't know. And then white sneakers. Um, doesn't specifically have to be Converse. You could do some Air, 
Air Force Ones, you could do um, low top Converse, you could do uh, some Reebok ones, um, some New Balances would be really cute too, but just a white or cream color so it ties in with the sweater very nicely. Um, I feel like a lot, it was very trendy to have your sweater like this or even like underneath, like you know what I mean, like this, but I'm really just liking it like this, just like arms flailing your bag in hand, you're ready to go. Last but certainly not least, honestly all of these are like my favorite outfits so I really can't say whether I have a favorite one or not, but this one is so cute. Again, I feel like this only really works, I mean unless you could put tights in there. Just, anyway, okay, I live in California, we really don't get like freezing cold temperatures so being able to use these like hefty coats we don't get to use them that often is what I'm trying to say, but styling it like this, I feel like it works great and you, well at least I won't get like overheated. I, again, am like loving leather apparently a lot, well this is pleather but whatever, you know what I mean. Um, bottoms a lot, like I just think it completely steps up your outfit so easily, like you could replace this with another skirt, but with leather, it just makes it look a little more rocker, goth, edgy, but like the little vest softens it up a little bit along with the white turtleneck. I just thought the jacket wasn't going to go very well because it was a strong print with arty leather and then in like this lilac-y colored vest, but I think it actually goes really well together because the pockets are pleather. So it ties in with the skirt with leather and these boots just look they're so cute, so cute. I just, I'm in love with this outfit too. I, I don't know what to say. Sorry about all the noise in the background. My family is just pretty loud. Of course, while I'm doing like the quiet clips where it's just gonna be noise over, my, no one's talking, like not a single soul. Soul? Soul, and of course, as soon as I'm doing intro and outro, it gets real loud. Anyway. It's just real life. It is what it is. So guys, that's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys got some inspo. And with that being said, peace and blessings, and I'll see you guys in the next one.